gonna show you how I'm keeping everything organized for my themed materials. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I have this big file organizer where I keep all of my themed materials as well as our academic learning that we're doing that month. I can keep a whole year's worth and then a few months worth of themed things and they fit in there really nicely and I know right where they're at when I wanna grab them. I'll pull out my folder that has all of the things from that theme that I stored away in here. This planning sheet is in an edible template that it's in the app called Canva and it's really great but if you're not familiar with Canva if you go to open up that app you might not see this specifically but if you swipe right then you'll see my template and you can edit this. I think this one right now has all of the activities added so you can peek at that if you like and you can change anything and make it your own. I've also made this little fall activity planner this shows a full week at a glance and that's kind of fun too. With that editable template, you can type in whatever you like in these days and make it your own. Or you can just print a few of these out and hand write in what your daily activities are gonna be. I like to have at least one group activity a day. Keeping them simple, keeping them easy. After I have my materials pretty well prepped, I can organize them in this hanging file folder. This is just a small one. There's 10 folders here, one for each day. It's just good to come together. So day one, I've got my little bat collages even I've put the little packets of the collage tissue paper in there and then for our paper plate activity with the spider web weaving and the little spiders I've even put those in there I've got our scratch off spiders here and then I've also got my spin art spider printable ready to go and I've put our cutting cards as well as those cutting spiders in here for another day I have our spider counting snack with the printable as well as I put these bags in here because I'm just just gonna give each child a bag of the supplies needed so that they can pull them out easily out of the bag and put them on their paper. Definitely add some extras because you know they're gonna snack on those. Put a black paper in here for the golf ball spider web where you roll the ball and paint back and forth. The kids can make a spider web and then when they're done we'll take the little spiders that they cut out a few days before and they'll have another activity where they glue those onto their spider web. So something very simple but super fun and then this one it's a coffee filter that I've kind of cut out like in a bat shape and then they will color those with marker and then spray them with water to let the colors bleed and then we'll paint these uh, clothes pins black and then this will be the body of the bat put some google eyes on there and some white things with a marker and then this one I just have these jack-o-lantern cutouts I thought these might be kind of fun to do around Halloween I don't necessarily have to go in order with these but it's nice to know that I've at least got them all separated and um, I can glance in there and see what we want to do for that day and then this last one I've got a lot of the things we are doing for our academic learning and then I've kept even what we were doing for September in there for a review so I've even got room for those things in there so I can keep them handy and then for the writing center I've got this little file organizer and this works out really great to kind of tuck those things in there and I can see everything um, at a glance and I can grab something out and pop it in every morning so we have a different thing and then a lot of these things um, if I want to reuse I can if it's very popular we have a lot of different options to go from and a lot of different fun things that are always going to be drawing them into the writing center including some stickers as well as my bat word tracing card those are all ready to go and then I had trouble with my props I put them in little buckets and they kept tipping over every time I set them down so I figured out they'd really do go nicely in these pouches that are kind of made more for dry erase activities and they're so great because they've got this little ring on there if you have a little hook near your circle time area you can hook these hanging ready to go for circle time. This basket, I've had bigger baskets before for my tabletop activities, but for the tabletop activities it's nice to have kind of like a deep basket. These are just from the dollar store and they work out pretty good to kind of keep everything in there when I'm ready to pull this out onto a tray or out for the tabletop activity that we'll be doing that day. So I've got my color bat matching activity, we've got our spider web counting, a few other activities in here ready to go, some of them still need to be prepped and then I've got my spiders that I made for letter recognition. So I hope this helps give you an idea and how to keep things organized when you're switching out themed materials and especially if you have just a small area like I do where I don't have a whole lot of space to store all this stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll make sure to post all of these activities that I didn't go over in my other planning video, the blogs and the links for those instructions down into the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video.